Hi everyone, it's Alejandra and I hope you guys are having a great week. If you have requested a video on what type of label maker to use or recommendations for going out and buying a label maker, then this video is for you. So in the past five years, I have been using the same label maker and it's the Brother P-Touch 1880. And I bought it back in 2007 from Staples. I think it was like 50 bucks at the time. You can definitely buy a less expensive label maker. Like you don't have to go out and spend 50 bucks. Okay, so I went ahead and created lots of labels and stuck them to this folder. And now I want to go ahead and explain some of my favorite colors, fonts, sizes, and shapes. And then share with you guys a few tricks I do when I use my label maker. But first, I want to introduce you guys to the newest addition to our family. This is Mojo. Mojo is a three-month-old um, apricot red miniature poodle. And she's asleep right now. She's so cute. She has the cutest face. Hopefully when she wakes up, or when she wakes up, I will, um, I'll show you guys her, her cute eyes and everything else when she wakes up. But she's just been so much fun to be with. And I'm going to do a pet organizing video sometime soon. I'm still getting her systems in place. Okay, so back to the video. All right, so let me start with these two. These two right here are the six millimeter tape, and it comes in black on white and black on clear. And I use this thin tape. This is actually the thinnest they make it. I use the thin tape to label um, really thin shelves or thin drawers. Anything that's like, that's thin that needs a label, I'll use the six millimeter. And I use both the clear and the white probably just as much equally. All right, so moving on to this size, this is the most popular size and color. This is the 12 millimeter. Um, black font on white is the standard, most popular color um, because it's black and white. Um, it's also the cheapest one, so if you're looking for label tape and you, are, you have a certain budget in mind, then you want to look for the black and white because it's the least expensive. If you start to get into some of the colors, it gets pretty pricey. But okay, most popular size and color. And most label makers, you'll find they come with a starter tape and then it always comes with this one. Okay, so this is the 12 millimeter black with clear. I use this often when I don't wanna have the white as the background. This works well on like a clear wood or um, a color box or color bin. Depends what you're labeling. Uh, one more thing about this one. So when you print a label, um, from your label maker, it's going to leave a one inch, um, a one inch gap in the very beginning and a one inch gap at the very end. And that's pretty standard. I don't think there's a way to actually change that on your label maker. So what I do is I always cut off the extra inch because I think it just looks silly with so much white space. So I do it just like this. This one is cut, but I left it on just so you guys can see. It kind of bothers me leaving it on. I don't know why, but okay, moving on. So I really like the red font on white and I use it for all of my warning, caution, or like, yeah, warning and caution labels. Just because it kind of stands out, it kind of screams warning or it kind of screams emergency. This one is kind of pricey just because it has a red font, but I really like that one and I use it pretty sparingly only for warning or caution labels. All right, the next one here, the black on yellow. I love the yellow tape. It's nice and bright. It's probably the brightest of all the labels. And I use it for spaces that are really busy where I need a label to stand out. And if you saw my home office supply drawer, then you saw I have yellow labels because that whole drawer is like super busy. So when I have the yellow labels, it just stands out. And again, this is the 12 millimeter tape. This one is pretty pricey, I will warn you. Okay, so this one, the green, they came out with green about mm, maybe like three years, maybe like two years ago. No, maybe it was like three years ago. And when I saw it, I was like, oh, you know, green, that's so fun and bright. But when I bought it and then I used it, I realized that having the white font on the green background is kind of hard to read. And so now I have green cartridges that I don't really use because it's just hard to read. And it looks pretty clear here, but when it's on something else and it's far away, it's difficult to read. So I don't really recommend green unless they decide to change the the, um, the white font to black. If it was black, I would love it. Um, but yeah, white, not so much. 
Okay, the pink one I absolutely love. Um, I love pink, and um, there's a lot of pink in my home office, in my closet, and so I love the pink tape. Um, it's, it's white font on pink. They don't make black. If they made black, it'd probably be more readable, but um, they don't, so the white works just as well. Okay, um, this one here, this is the white font on black, and what I did here was show you guys how you can outline your label. So there's different styles, like this is a candy wrapper, there's like vines, there's flowers, there's a circle, this is the, the circle or the round outline. But that's the candy wrapper and it's I thought it was pretty cute. Um, okay, this one right here, you can see that this one's a little bit thicker than the 12 millimeter. You see? This is thicker than this. This is actually, I think this is the 18 millimeter, and I think it's the thickest that they make it. But this is um, white font on clear, and it's actually pretty rare and hard to find the white font on clear. And when you do find it, it is expensive. I don't know why. Um, I'm guessing because the font is white and it's clear. I don't know, but I work well on dark surfaces. I use this exact label tape on my um, my cherry wood um, drawers in my closet, my alpha drawers. Um, it stands out really nicely and it just looks a lot cleaner than if I had um, black font on white. Okay, um, so moving on. Okay, so my label maker has two different types of fonts. There's the Helensky, I think I spelled that wrong, I think it's Helensky. There's Helensky and there's Bohemia, and I like the Helensky better than the Bohemia. I feel like the Helensky is just more cleaner, more more clean, I don't know if I said that right, but um, yeah, I just think it's more clean than this one. I don't like how this has like, I don't really know why I don't like this, but yeah, I just like that one better. And And you'll notice that I use all caps when I label anything on my label maker. I just think it looks cleaner and yeah, it just looks cleaner. So you'll notice everything is caps here. And it's also bold. I do Helinski bold for all of my labels. Okay, and then down here I just wanted to show you guys that they have lots of symbols you can use. So if you're having like a warning or caution label, you can go ahead and add one of those symbols or email or phone or, or poison or any of those. It's kind of cool. And then down here, this is the 18 millimeter, just like this one, but it's the um, the black font on white. And then you can also do um, vertical labels. So I did one here, it says <laughs> Poodles Rock. So that's a vertical label. I don't really use that one too often, but I have used it before. Another piece of advice is to print everything on your label before printing. You will save a lot of tape that way. So for example, if you are going to cut or you needed, let's say you needed four separate labels for most popular size color, what I would do is I would print them all on one, um, one line on your label maker, print them, and then cut them. Because when you do that, you're not going to have the one inch gap before or after each word, which wastes a lot of tape. So print everything at once, or I'm sorry, type everything at once and then print it at once and then just cut it. Okay, so where do you get the label tape? So um, some office stores, well, most office stores sell label tape. Um, you shouldn't have a problem finding the six millimeter white and clear or the 12 millimeter white and clear. Like these four here, you can easily find at Staples or Office Depot. And these ones down here, like, yeah, these six right here, you are gonna have, you're gonna pay a premium to get any of these six labels. Office Depot does carry the green and the pink, and I think it's like, it's pretty pricey. It's like 20 bucks per label tape, which is expensive. Um, but you won't find, like I've never seen the red or the yellow at Office Depot. They, I think they do have the black in the store. I've never seen that one in the store. That's standard, standard. Um, you might be able to buy that one in the store. I'm not really sure. If you go to brother.com, I think it's brother.com, you will see all the colors they carry. There are a lot more colors. Like there is, there's a red with white um, font, which is really cool. There's an orange. I think there's a purple. There's brown. There's gold. There's silver. Again, they're a little more expensive, um, and that's why I haven't ordered them. But um, but yeah, but they are pretty cool. 
Okay, so I showed you guys my favorite label maker or the label maker that I absolutely love. I showed you guys my favorite um, fonts, my favorite colors, the way I label. If you have a label maker and you absolutely love it, I would love to know what brand, what model it is. Create a video response or leave a comment below and let me know what it is. And if you have some kind of like super cool trick that I didn't show in this video that you do when you use Label Maker, please share that because I would love to see and I'm sure everybody else watching would love to see what it is as well. So I will see you guys soon. Bye. <gasps> Look who decided to get up. Mojo, say hi. Mojo, baby, Mojo, say hi. <gasps> hi, say hi to everyone on YouTube. We love you. We love you. She's just so adorable. We had a poodle growing up. This is, I have a picture. This is Prince. He was our apricot miniature poodle. I just love poodles. Aw, look at her on the label maker. Aw, do you like to label too, Mojo? Do you like to label? If you have a poodle, or you had a poodle, I would love to see a picture. I absolutely love poodles. Um, I think they're just the cutest dogs ever. Oh, look at her. Oh, look at you. No, 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 no. This is mommy's favorite toy. No, we don't chew label makers. Look, we chew this. We chew this. Okay, anyways, I'm going to end this video. But I just wanted to show you guys Mojo. Hi everyone, it's Alejandra, and I hope you guys are having a great week. If you have requested a video on what type of label maker to use or recommendations for going out and buying a label maker, then this video is for you. So in the past five years, I have been using the same label maker and it's the Brother P-Touch 1880. And I bought it back in 2007 from Staples. I think it was like 50 bucks at the time. You can definitely buy a less expensive label maker. Like you don't have to go out and spend 50 bucks. Okay, so I went ahead and created lots of labels and stuck them to this folder. And now I want to go ahead and explain some of my favorite colors, fonts, sizes, and shapes. And then share with you guys a few tricks I do when I use my label maker. But first, I want to introduce you guys to the newest addition to our family. This is Mojo. Mojo is a three-month-old um, apricot red miniature poodle. And she's asleep right now. She's so cute. She has the cutest face. Hopefully when she wakes up, 